Good morning guys and welcome for your 15 minutes of yoga. Today we are doing a practice to help you if you feel anxious. A lot of us actually experience anxiety and this practice is really to bring you back into the now. Quite often when we feel anxious it's because we think of the future. Not always but a lot of time when you try to come back and focus on what you're doing now it will really help you to actually not think of what bring this anxiety inside of you okay so all you need to do today is um, your mat and something to sit on comfortably if for some reason you have knees issues and you're not comfortable in any position you can sit at the edge of the chair as always okay so just come and sit into a cross-legged position here. Again, you can take any cross-legged position that suits you. You could have a normal cross-legged. If it's like me that you like to sit with your heels in line, elevate the seat bones. And you can be into a kneeling position, sitting onto a bolster if you want as well. So wherever you're comfortable, we'll be here for quite a while. We're going to uh, do a little bit of alternated breathing here okay so make sure you're comfy if you sit and you already feel like it's an effort then pause the video and set yourself up so that you're really at ease okay let's get started 15 minutes starts now so once you find your comfortable seat we'll just bring the awareness inward toward your breath and just start to have the gaze on the floor just keep the gaze open for now rest your hands onto your lap or wherever it's comfortable relax the shoulders relax the jaws quiet the back of the eyes really try to be as relaxed as possible allow the tensions to melt away with each breath so breathing in and out through the nose keep the gaze focused so that you don't get distracted by what's around you. And if you really need to close your eyes straight away, just do so. Whatever you need so that you can try to find peace. And we'll breathe in and out through the nose, just very naturally for now. If you find that you're a little bit breathing a little bit high up into the chest try to bring the breath back into your belly a lot of time when we're anxious or stressed we we'll breathe a little bit higher up and all of this is completely stuck so relax the abdomen allow the guts to really let go of all the tension that you accumulate here and slowly controlling your breath so in and out through the nose The best you can just try to match the inhale to your exhale again you don't want to force you don't want it to be something that brings more stress so if you can control and it feels okay do so otherwise just breathe however you can and then we're going to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out the mouth. Again, two more time. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out. As you breathe out, feel the lower abdomen drawn in. And one last time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Then find back your comfortable breath. And then just start to close your eyes. Again, if closing the eyes is not okay for you and it brings more anxiety, just keep your eyes open with the gaze fixed on the floor. Just listen to yourself. 
and just know that everything is okay. Now it's time to just focus on the now and observe your breath, observing your inhale and your exhales. Start to notice where you hold the tension in the body. Could be in the hips, but most likely it's going to be maybe into the guts and then around the shoulder region and the chest region. We'll just try to become softer and lighter, just let all this tension slowly melt away every time that you breathe out. Check in with the jaws again, a lot of tension gets stuck into the jaws, so try to keep them really soft. And if you have done the alternated nostril breath before, you can keep your eyes closed and then start to prepare with your thumb and your pinky finger. If you have not, you can look at the way I hold my hands. We're going to use your thumbs and your little finger to press into the nostril each time. So we're going to alternate. And you can just lift these fingers and press them into your food eyes or just place them very lightly. So the way it's going to work, we're going to close the right nostril and breathe in through the left. And then you're going to close the lips the left and then breathe out through the right and then you're going to breathe in through the right close the right and then breathe out through the left and then breathe in through the left close it and breathe out through the right okay if you've done it already feel free to start otherwise keep your eyes closed for some reason you have a cold and it's very difficult, you can try very lightly or just try to do the same work without your hands. So it's very tricky, but see if you can try to breathe more from the right and from the left without closing it. That's if you have a cold or any issues with your breathing with the nose here. Let's get started. Breathe in left. Close, press out right. Breathe in right. Close, press out left. Breathe in left. Close, press out right. Breathe in right. Close, press out left. Breathe in left. Close, press out right. Press in right. Close, press out left. Breathe in left. Close. Breathe out right. Breathe in right. Close. 
Where's that left? Breathing left. Close. Breathe out right. Breathe in right. Close. Breathe out left. Breathe in left. Close. Breathe that right. Breathe in right. Close. Breathe out left. Breathe in left. Close. Breathe that right. Breathe in right. Close. Breathe that left. Finish your last breath and release your hand to your knee, keeping the eyes closed. And breathe with both neutral, nostril, again with control. And just observe how much of a difference it makes with both. Notice how you feel now already compared to the start. and just very slowly open your eyes and then keep the gaze just in front of you wonderful and just start to move around we'll just move placing hands onto your knees maybe like me you just feel that it gets a little bit sore into your upper back when you hold here sometimes so we're just going to rotate with the rib cage so you're gonna keep breathing and then really what's happening and it's like a cat cow position you're curving and rounding the spine but also moving to the side of the body just bringing a nice release into the spine massaging the organs and letting this breath really move around And then you can reverse the circle. So try to lead like with the bottom of the rib cage and just visualize it making a circle. Beautiful. And then with your last one, just come back to a neural spine and then take a deep breath in, lift the shoulders forward up and back down and then again forward up and back last time one last big circle and relax the shoulders beautiful just remove the bolster or if you're into a chair just come down and sit onto the floor and then we'll just come onto your all four just do a few cat cow position from here so really activating the hands to the floor index fingers aimed forward top of the feet down as you breathe in drop the belly in the chest and look up and then as you breathe out fully rounding 
And then again, inhale, looking up. And exhale, rounding. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale up. And exhale down. Beautiful. From this position, we'll just come into an extended child pose. Just very gentle yoga. Sit onto your heels. Keep the knees really nice and wide. Relax the hips. Let the hips be really heaving. And then walk the hands out. And relax the head or the chest. As always, if it's not comfortable in your knees, you can just maybe just lie onto your belly or extend your legs out. Or you can try placing a folded pillow um, behind your knee joints to help if you have any pain over there. Wonderful. And just relaxing here. Just going into this inward position. So we give so much out to the world around, whether it's at your work, or if you like me, your mom, you give so much out to your child, your partner, your friends. But this time is just for you to come back inward and really try to bring the energy to yourself and keep it to yourself instead of giving out all the time. So just try to be really soft. A sort of a passive extended child here. So not trying to be really active into the hand. Just let the floor, the ground support you and just keep breathing. We just want to let the body melt down So there has no effort to make, just like a restorative practice. Allow the heart to just drop, the chest drop to the ground, the shoulders to let go of all the tensions. Allow the belly to just also be really soft here. Let it hang and let it move naturally the way it wants with the breath here. Once you breathe, natu once you breathe naturally, you will feel that the navel draws back in very slightly every time you breathe out. That's when your breath is really natural and at its best. Beautiful. We've been here for about five more inhale, five more exhales. Wonderful. And then with your next inhalation, just very slowly make your way into any link position. We'll do a little bit of release around um, the traps region, so the side of the neck. Again, when we get tense or anxious, we, we tend to just crest the shoulders up here. So what we'll do, we'll go and interlace your fingers behind your back. And then you're going to pull your left hand to the outside of your of the right part of the rib cage here. And just try not to tense again into the shoulder. Just keep the shoulder down. And then you just pull this left hand forward. So the idea is that you get this left shoulder down. And then we're just going to drop the head over to the right. And you can close your eyes like me if you want. 
Just letting this head hang to the side so that you feel a nice opening and stretch from the left shoulder to the left side of the neck to the attachment of the skull. Feel free to change a little bit the angle of the head. We have so many connective tissues and muscle fibers around and you may feel like you want to angle the head a bit more down or forward or back. And then with your next inhale, come back up. And we'll do the same to the other side. So just pulling the right hand to the outside of the body, to the left side of the body. And then same thing here. Gently pull this left ear down. And allow the stretch to naturally happen into the right side of the body. And again, if you want to have a little play with the angle of the head, you can do so. Wonderful. Couple of breath more in here. And then inhale, slowly bring the head back and just relax through the shoulders here. Wonderful. Beautiful. That's going to be us for the day. It goes really fast, but I hope this moment that you had to come back to the now and noticing how you feel really helps you to get rid temporarily of this anxiety that you may experience. So anytime that you feel this way, you can always come back and do a little bit of breathing exercise. It's the best way to bring you back in the moment and not think of what brings that anxiety to you okay wonderful guys i really hope this was helpful and drop me a little comment as always let me know how it was if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to the channel and press the little bell so you get the update every time i post a new 15 minutes video that's it for today sending you lots of love and i'll see you next time on the mat bye